Hello everyone. Uh, you may notice something a little bit different here, and this is uh, this is me making up for not having had my microphone on with my software earlier. So I'm going to kind of play some of the older videos, just so I don't have to upload them without commentary. And uh, just I'll just do my best to remember what all I was saying beforehand. So I do apologize. These are going to be a bit weird, which is going to make the final video, where my voice does finally cut in, um, a bit strange. So, this is this is me attempting to remember what it was that I was originally going to do. I really wish the quality on these videos was better, <laughs> but I don't have I don't have great software for recording, so I, I make do with what I can with what I can. Um, I know one of the things I went over in this first video is uh, Sugar King, which I will eventually get to. Um, I also covered achievements, and I'm just going to kind of do my best to keep up with the video and and not get you know left too far behind. Um, I'm actually even mildly annoyed that you're missing some of my uh, some of my other commentary because it was kind of funny how scatterbrained I was, but. I would much rather there be something than having there just be nothing. Because it would be like in the middle of this series, just suddenly, oh, she went mute, I guess we're not getting anything, and, and no, I'm not going to do that to Wildy. Um, but I do apologize for the very poor quality of the video. Um, it's freaking Windows Media Player, and I have no video editing software, so I probably couldn't get this in a better quality even if I wanted to. Oh, excuse me, that was a burp. Alright, now if you see... Well, eventually I will turn around. Um, I think I'm talking about... Yeah, here I was trying to figure out where I wanted to expand my house and what I wanted to do. And, yeah. I've never made a commentary when I haven't been in the process of doing something before. And that, that includes the tutorial videos I did have. Um, yeah, here I was talking about having the mycelium to be able to grow some mushrooms for my farm. Uh, like that big one. And you'll see over here, well, once it comes back, over in the... I keep skipping it. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen it at this point. Um, yeah, I have. Okay, this is that's right, because I was getting frustrated at this point because I kept losing my train of thought over and over and over and over. So, one of the things in this game is sugarcane. Um, I've already gathered some of it, um... I don't think I've talked too much about it, so I apologize if this is information I've already given. But um, one of the things you can do with sugarcane is you can use it to uh, make paper. And that's used to make books, which can make bookshelves, which gets you, gets you the ability to not only just kind of be more decorative, but also um, it helps you with the enchanting table, which we'll talk about when I get to it. Um, and again, that's, that's another thing I'm going to be doing. Um, I know I've said it before, but I can't iterate it enough, is I'm trying to do it just enough of a tutorial to where I don't just overload you with tons and tons of information. Um, yes, I am talking the whole time, but... Oh yeah, right here. Uh, this video. This is demonstrating how it used to be that the way those three seeds were laid out and the way all these little pixels are, imagine that by about 10, and anytime you did a lot of terraforming or dropped a bunch of items, it would look about like that and they would just be all over the place. And now, whenever you drop a couple of items, they automatically stack like they did right there. Um, but yeah, just to reiterate, um, just to keep the tutorial aspect, I'll just kind of approach things as I come to them. And again, I apologize for the poor quality and not actually being able to keep up with the video. And this is me just hating on the long grass. You guys already know that I hate the long grass. Um, so yes, the sugar cane. Um, another thing you can do with it is, of course, make sugar. It used to be that you could not, and now you can, which is great. Um, and you use it to make cake. Cake is one of the things that I will be going over when I get to it, but I've got I've got most of the supplies already. I can actually go and make a cake. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, this is me trying to remember <laughs> what I was doing, and and yeah, I forgot to craft the fence gate that I wanted to use. So frustrating. I still cannot believe that I recorded like three or four. I, I've recorded a bunch of videos without the microphone. I am so used to having this microphone on. Um, what happened was I had a project where I had to sync up, um, where I had to synchronize a 
uh, video clip with the sound clip. And the sound clip was one that I was supposed to just go out and find. And so I managed to find it, but I had to go sync it up. And the only software I had to do that is the live stream software. So it involved a lot of pausing and playing, and, and I went to turn the microphone off so that no random sounds would be picked up by it so that I would have a smooth video. And I did, and because of that, just because of that, that stupid project, I forgot to turn the microphone back on. So that's why we're that's why we're at this point now, because <laughs> I am I am attempting to go back and just fix fix what I've messed up. So once again, apologies for the poor quality, and for my commentary being out of sync, because it will be out of sync until I catch up to myself. This was expand deciding where I wanted to expand, because I wanted to keep access to the back door open, because there wasn't much point in having that little back door if if I was just going to cover it up with a garden. Hmm. I just realized that when I record these live streams, you people can't see my little inventory. Of course, I don't usually sit here and watch my videos. So I will go ahead and fix that the next go around. Um... Oh, that's right. No, I remember why now. It's because... Okay, well, I'll just fix my Minecraft uh, window for that one. That's easy enough to do. But yeah, I didn't realize y'all actually couldn't see my little inventory. Below the uh, the hunger bar and the health bar and the little like, green experience bar down there, there actually is an inventory. I promise there is. <laughs> uh, it might have shown up in some of my earlier videos, but it's clearly not showing up now, and I apologize for having left left that out. In this video, I'm just kind of deciding what I want to do with my garden and how I want to do it, and then forgetting and remaking it and being frustrated because I can't pick up my train of thought. Uh, this is going to be a long night just because, while I certainly don't intend to do nearly as many videos this se this session as I did before, uh, I do plan on getting caught back up with what I missed. And a lot of it's just going to be these these horrible quality videos, and I do apologize for that. If I had the right software, I would just watch this and record my sound, and then just sync up my sound with a video and be like, hey, by the way, this sound is not in sync for a reason. But again, I've got craptacular software. Like, all I have is the live stream software. I can't afford fraps, because, you know, you have to pay money for that crap. And I, I honestly have not had good experiences with fraps. Like, I tried to do the free version just to kind of test it out, and it literally only let me record, like, five or ten seconds that's not enough for me to test much of anything. You know, I mean, I would, the quality of the video was fine, but other than that, it was just kind of annoying and pointless because I couldn't do anything with it. So, yeah, Fraps is Fraps is not high on my high on my own personal recommendation list just because, you know, I'm not paying however much when I have live stream. It's like, just because it's recommended doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Now, obviously, Windows Media Player is all kinds of suck, as you can see, but this is the best I can do with what I've got, and, you know, at least I'm not sitting here going, you know, oh, this whole thing sucks, I have to start over because I've got crappy software. No, I'm just working with what I have. You know, I'm a college student. I'm broke. I can't afford all that crap. Um, one thing I mentioned, I actually mentioned in a later video, possibly in the video where I remembered to put my microphone on, um, is one of the things that uh, happens with sand, and that is, uh, I, I know I said I was going to attack it as it came at me, but I've dealt with sand before already, and sand is one of the only blocks in Minecraft that falls. Um, and you'll, you'll see a better demonstration of that when we get there, because I come across gravel, which does the same thing. And somewhere around here, oh, this is where I'm talking about fences. And you'll notice how I'm able to walk along this, along that line there. Um, you actually could not do that before when fences were first introduced. It used to be you could only walk up to about where I'm standing now. And, you know, if it was a balcony, you'd try to look over and be like, oh, hey, what's the cool thing down there? I can't see it because I can't get close enough to the fence. And now you can get really close to the fence. And that was something that a lot of us liked. Was the ability to get close to the fence like that. Oh, and that's the end of the video. I will see you at the next one.